All right, here we go. Sam Wolf, Air Force Academy, 174 pounder, junior. Yes, sir. All right, tell me what brought you to the Air Force Academy. Where did you, you go to high school? I went to high school in Buffalo, New York. Okay. Well, Warsaw, New York actually was the this high school that I went to. Um, so we had a really good history of wrestling, and I yep. knew I wanted to wrestle in college. Uh, I also wanted to uh, serve my country. So this kind of gave me both of those opportunities because I was super interested in flying, and I wanted to do it for the military. So I figured Air Force, and then I wanted to wrestle in college, so I figured the Air Force Academy would be the best spot. So you knew from an early time that you wanted to be, that you wanted to fly? From about my sophomore year of high school, okay. I was when I really started pursuing it and being serious about it. I always kind of saw it as an option, but um, yeah, sophomore year is really when I was, that's kind of when I decided that that's something I'd really like to do, so. Okay, and, and wrestling doesn't hurt, right? So you wrestle, right. now you get to put, put the two worlds together. Right. Okay, um, tell me about life here, because let me just preface it to say that because I'm a civilian, I don't know what happens at, at, at service right. academies. Mm -hmm. I think, okay, you get up in the morning, you make your bed, you gotta bounce a dime off of it, you you go drill, right? Yeah, everybody's dressed the same. Everybody marches this way. They march that way all together. All right. You might get a little bit of breakfast, and then you're hitting the, hitting the books. Yeah. What's life like here? So, I mean, it's similar to that, right? But, like, the bounce, the coin off the bed. Like, once you're an upperclassman, you don't have to do that, which is um, sophomore through senior year. So, basically, my, my day is I get up in the morning. I come down to team lift, um, go back. I'll have a PE class. Right now, I'm in combatives. Um, and then I'll go to class. Up from then, and then I'll have noon meal formation, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then we'll go to lunch, whole wing eats, lunch at the same time, finish up classes, come back down here, get another workout in about an hour and a half, and then uh, go back and study and repeat the next day. Okay, so we're not talking about being a robot. We're mm -hmm. talking about discipline, right? right. We're talk talking about being able to control certain uh, the easy aspects of life, right? Putting in a line. What does that do for an 18 year old, a 19 year old, a 20 year old? What does that do? I mean, I've seen a lot of changes in my life. Like it just, it becomes easier to make the right decision. But when you're down here, like if you need to make a decision between going, you know, going, keep on pushing, going hard and, you know, kind of slacking off, like that discipline will allow you to make the right decision to keep going hard or to do the right thing. And um, I think that's the biggest difference it's made for me is just, it makes the right decision easier. You got the, you know, the next four years of your life set up right. after you get out of here, right? Mm -hmm. Guaranteed job, little to zero debt, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I mean zero, right? Yep. I said little, what I meant was zero. Right. So you're coming out of here with no debt, you hit the ground running with a job, yep. you get to maybe see the world, right? Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I came and decided Air Force was that I wanted to see the world, right? So like you can get stationed in Italy, you can get stationed in Germany, wherever you want in the world, and that's that was something that really appealed to me. And uh, also coming out with a guaranteed job, right? Like you're not guaranteed anything now, but with the military, you're, you know, you got something unlocked, so. One thing that stood out to me too, just a couple minutes ago, you said you wanted to serve your country. You knew that somewhere deep down inside. Right, I guess it started with flying, and then I was like, you know what, I could do it through the Air Force. And then I was like, the life that I've been given, right? Like. The things that I've been able to do, just being able to, I guess, help that for future generations. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was. That was my thought process on it. So. Hey, hey, listen, I'm an old old man that thinks that kids these days get off my lawn, kind of guy. <laughs> There's hope, right? There's a yep. a room full of you guys in here. That's There's right. other 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 people out there that are that still love this country. For sure. For awesome. Sure. Well, I appreciate the time, yes, man. Sir. You got anything else for us? That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir.